Judge hands Rudy Giuliani default in a Georgia election worker suit. So a federal judge issued a default judgment against former Donald Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani, Giuliani Wednesday, ordering the former mayor to cough up more than $130,000 in a civil case brought by two Georgia election workers whom he accused of rigging the 2020 presidential election court filings show. D.C.-based U.S. District Judge Beryl Howell rebooked Giuliani, 79, for failing to hand over electronic communications or complete financial records to attorneys for Peach State election workers Ruby Freeman and her daughter, Wandria Shea Moss, as part of the discovery process in the defamation suit against him. In a 57-page memo, Howell said the former federal prosecutor had given only lip service to a process he knew intimately from experience and instead thwarted the plaintiff's attorney at every step. Donning a cloak of victimization may play well on a public stage to certain audiences, but in court of law, this performance has served only to subvert the normal process of discovery in a straightforward defamation case. With the commitment, concomitant necessity of repeated court intervention, she wrote. The evidence requested included private emails and messages from Giuliani's electronic devices, most of which were seized by the FBI in April 2021, before being returned in August 2022, at which point Giuliani claimed they had been wiped out. However, Howe sided with the plaintiff's attorney, attorneys in finding that Giuliani had done little to preserve his personal communications, noting at least two devices were not seized by federal agents. Financial records from the former mayor's business businesses, Giuliani Communications LLC, and Giuliani Partners LLC, and his podcast, Common Sense, were also not sufficiently produced, the judge said. How ordered Giuliani to pay $89,172.50 in fees with interest for withholding the information, and his businesses must also pay an associated $43,684 in fees with interest associated if he fails to comply again. The plaintiffs have until September 8th to submit any further cause for discovery motions, and Giuliani has until September 15th to file any objections to the judge's orders, and by September 20th, both parties must submit three proposed trial dates between November 2023 and February 2024. Giuliani, by the same date, must pay all fees and provide the court with his financial records. Howe said the jury for the case would be told that Giuliani's failure to provide information should be interpreted as an intentional attempt to hide his finances and deflate his net worth. This 57-page opinion on discovery, which would usually be no more than two or three pages, is a prime example of the weaponization of the justice system where the process is the punishment, Giuliani's political advisor Ted Goodman told The Post. This decision should be reserved as Mayor Giuliani is wrongly accused of not preserving electronic device, uh, electronic evidence that was seized and held by the FBI. Friedman and Moss fought the defamation suit against the man, once known as America's mayor, in December 2021, alleging he falsely claimed they had committed election fraud by pointing to a heavily edited video of the supposed crime. The pair also sued one American news network over the same claims, as the video footage was also circulated by Trump allies in the right-wing media, and Giuliani said the mother-daughter duo had passed a USB drive, like vials of heroin or cocaine, to commit ballot fraud, but Moss later testified to the House January 6th Select Committee that she was handing her mother a ginger mint. Georgia's state election board in June dismissed the allegations following an investigation, stating that the fraud claims were un substantiated and found to have no merit. Giuliani admitted the next month in court to making false claims about the plaintiffs and did not contest their allegations. The defendant Giuliani, for the purposes of this litigation, only does not contest that such actionable factual statements are false, the July 26 filing read. However, he disputed that the remarks were defamatory per se and call them constitutionally protected statements or opinions. Giuliani was indicted August 14th, along with Trump and 17 others, etc.
interesting. So, one, he's going to have to be paying a good amount of money. He might have to pay more money again. The thing that I find interesting about these sort of things is, like, what would be the right choice to do, right? If, like, if you're trying to protect your finances, like, would it be smarter for you to pay fines than just show people how much you're actually worth? Like, I don't know. It's kind of like an odd situation to be in because like like which one makes more sense to hide your actual true net worth or be constantly be paying fines about hiding your net worth basically it just seems kind of like weird like a really weird situation to be in